Hey guys, it's Miss Fencing. Welcome in another episode of Operation Fencing. On this channel we've already covered some small sword and rapier topics, so today it's time for a saber. Today I will be using a sport saber. It is very convenient to train some basic techniques and also it's very easy to buy, but remember that all techniques I show using this weapon also applies for applies to a heavy saber. Of course, in some heavy saber techniques, you use more of your elbow than your wrist, especially in if you lack of strength. And of course, there is nothing wrong with it, except it is, because you should be stronger. So keep doing your push-ups. So let's begin with how to hold a saber. You should do it like this. So grab it like you would grab a hammer and then take your thumb to this position. I will show you this again. <laughs> so, you grab it like a hammer and then you put your thumb here and it should be fine. Just a few more small details and it will be perfect. So, when you grab it, make sure that you slide your hand down like this. That's way, that way you have slightly longer range and also we have better leverage while doing cuts. Also, when you stand in your stance, it should look like this. So your hand should be outside of your body because you want your outer li out, out, outside line, outer line to be covered completely. Also, your guard have to be turned outside because you want your hand to be safe. Also, you shouldn't stand like this because now we are very, very vulnerable for thrusts in your fingers. Remember that in modern classical fencing, on the contrary to the sport fencing, thrusts in your hand also counts. So this position is the safest one. Also, the last important thing, remember to keep your guard down as, as much as possible, because if you don't do this, if you stand like this, your elbow is very vulnerable for hits too. Okay, I have to admit, I haven't told you the whole truth, because in Saber we have two types of stance. This is first one and this is another one, but we will cover it in another episode. The, the second stance also has a lot of details, so for now, this is the basic stance, which is best when you start. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. As you probably noticed, I have only one glove on my not-dominant hand. And it probably looks very stupid, but I took it down at the beginning because I wanted to show you how to keep a saber and in glove you prob probably wouldn't see anything, so that's why. Also remember to subscribe my channel and turn on the notifications. You can visit my Patreon account and if you want to see more stuff about saber, there are not available yet, but I have some cool things about small sword and a rapier and also one video in which I show you different type of sabers, so you may be interested in that, so check it out. Also tell me please if you train saber, if you'd like to have more videos about saber and what type of saber is your favorite. I'd like, I'd like to know that. Thanks so much for watching and see you later.